welcome back to my channel uh, in this session i will be discussing uh, numerical examples on a uh, dc generator in the previous session we discussed about the construction working and types of dc generator now let's see how to solve this particular numerical example uh, shown on the screen so moving on to the discussion first of all i request you to read the question and note on the parameters okay so a four pole generator a four pole generator we can write like this uh, p is equal to p is equal to four correct having the wave wound wave wound armature so if i talk about the wave wound armature uh, we can write like this the number of armature conductor per parallel path that is equal to two it is typically for wave winding uh, if uh, this is the same case for lap winding we will write a is equal to number of poles but this is because of we have observed the winding which they provided is wave winding okay so we will be writing a is equal to two so the armature winding has 51 slots also each slot containing 20 conductors therefore what could be the total number of conductors total number of conductors is given by the total number of slots that is 51 right 51 and each slot occupies 20 conductors okay so this you have to multiply then you will be getting an answer i think maybe one zero two zero check it out what will be the voltage generated? Voltage generator will write like a EG. That is mean that that means uh, generated EMF. Generated EMF means voltage generator. Correct. What will be the voltage generated in the machines when driven at 1,500 RPM? Okay, 1,000. You are rotating the armature uh, it, at a speed of how much? 1,500 revolution per minute. Note down speed is equal to speed of rotation. Then only dynamic indu dynamically induced EMF will be produced. Assuming that the flux per pole to be 7 milliwaver. Therefore, let us write flux per pole phi is equal to 7 uh, milliwaver. 7 milliwaver is nothing but 7 into 10 to the power minus 3 or 10 raised to minus 3. Okay, this much of Weber. So, let us note on the equation EG. EG is equal to uh, ZN phi by 60 into p by n so from this equation i would like to substitute all the variables which is already given in the question so z is equal to how much 51 into uh, 20 that is 1020 correct anything you can write no issues n is equal to 1500 rpm phi is nothing but 7 into 10 to the power minus 3 and uh, p is how much 4 okay 4 divided by 60 into what is a 2 so please substitute accordingly and get to get the answer okay so please do the cal i'll wait kindly cal do the calculation i hope you found the answer uh, the answer for this particular problem is uh, 357 volt. This is the right answer. Make a note of this. Okay, this is the how to solve the problems on uh, DC generator. Uh, you know, there is another example. Let me solve that particular example also. A four port. So P is equal to four. Then lab connected DC generator. In the case of lab connected DC generator, you remember the terms lab connection. So the number of conductor per parallel path is equal to number of pole that is equal to 4 hope you understood and the 600 armature conductors so set is given directly that is 600 armature uh, then the speed of rotation of armature is given by 1200 rpm correct if the flux per pole they have given direct value there is no issues 0 0.06 weber uh, and calculate the emf induced so you are supposed to calculate the emf induced okay first that's the first part of the problem so let us find out. We can use the formula uh, EG is equal to uh, Zn phi by uh, 60 into uh, P by N. So substitute all the values such as Z is equal to 600. Okay. Uh, then N is equal to 1200 RPM. Phi is nothing but uh, 0 0.06 and P is nothing but 4 divided by uh, 60 into what is A? A is equal to 4. So, you will be getting uh, the particular value of EG. This much of gold you will get. Okay, you can work out. Okay. 
So later what you are supposed to do is let us go close the first part. First part is completed. Now moving on to the second part. Find the speed. Okay, second part. Part two. Let me write part two. Find the speed. Okay, I don't know the speed. Find the speed at which it should be driven to produce the same EMF. It should be driven to produce the same EMF. So, uh, so we'll write like this EG. So whatever you are getting the EG, that you will update here. Okay, EG. EG. So same EG will use here. So look at this. Same EG. Remaining parameters you will keep as it is. Number of poles, armature conductor, parallel path, it's lap pointed. Then everything you will keep stayed same. So what you will write is so general equation EG is equal to uh, Zn phi by uh, 60 into P by A. So from this you will compute N. N is equal to so how to calculate EG into uh, 60 into A upon uh, Z phi P. So EG whatever the value you have obtained from the previous calculation that you can take ultimately will be getting okay so this is the way how to find out the answer for this particular problem now i'll solve the i'll show you the solution so please work by yourself and later you can see the problem solution so in the first case you have got the generated emf is equal to 720 volt later you will be using 720 volt as a generated emf then you are trying to increase the speed, okay? So that you will be identifying the what kind of speed you have increased. So speed has been like uh, updated as how much? 600 RPM. So that is the difference. Hope you understood. Okay, speed has been reduced actually. Okay, so earlier speed was 1200 RPM. Now the new speed is 600 RPM. Hope you understood the session. Let me know if you have any questions. If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe. And if the session is useful, I request you to share. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.